talking to girls is still a mystery for so many guys, especially the up-and-comers who have grown up with a phone in their hand and don't know how to strike up a conversation in real life. It's a struggle that is sure to just get worse before it gets better. But there are a lot of great conversationalists out there that offer some advice on how to talk to a girl. Of course, we aren't just talking about any girl. Although, practice makes perfect, we're talking about talking to a girl you are attracted to. We get that talking to a pretty girl makes you nervous, but with some good old-fashioned advice and seizing the opportunity, when it arises, you can not only strike up a conversation, you can learn a lot in the process as well. Here's how you can boost your confidence when talking to girls with these simple steps. Not only will they help in talking to girls, but you'll also be able to talk to anyone with these tips. 1. Look non-threatening I know this is a tough one and vague, and often situational. It can also quickly become racist so I will do my very, very best to keep from sounding preaky. Soften your facial expression and body language. Say please and thank you and be polite. Avoid, if possible, torn or stained clothing unless it is work gear. You don't have to be decked out in Gucci but clean clothing that is well maintained says I care about the image I present to others. To let her know you're interested in her. Talking to a girl isn't as simple as walking up to her and asking her out on a date. It may work in the movies, but in all probability, it won't work in real life. A girl needs to know you're interested in her before you approach her, so she can evaluate you. If you just walk up to a girl who doesn't have a hint that you're walking up to her, you may just end up shocking her. And she's going to say the first thing her mom taught her to say to intrude boys. Go away. 3. Make eye contact. This is very important. Once she knows you exist, take the game a notch higher. Firstly, whatever you were doing when you saw her, just continue doing just that. Live your life and enjoy your own moment doing your own thing. But glance at her now and then to arouse her curiosity. Does she glance back at you occasionally? Does she smile to herself when you catch her eye? Do her friends look at you and smile? Watch out for the happy signs. There's no point in trying to figure out how to talk to a girl if all she does is give you a dirty stare or doesn't care whether you're looking at her. Asking a girl out in such cases usually ends up being a disaster and for a novice's confidence, it's best to be avoided. 4. When approaching a woman, do so openly and always give her an out. Feeling trapped is scary for anyone and even in a public space, it is very easy to make a woman feel threatened or intimidated without meaning to. Take for example a scenario in a coffee shop. If she is sitting at a table near the window, approach the table in her line of sight and stand behind the seat across from her. This should put about two feet or so between you and her and make her feel like she has plenty of space around her to move away from you. 5. To get her attention, say excuse me, softly and politely. Don't yell, don't touch her or any of her things. The next phrase out of your mouth should be a non-sexual compliment. If you can, compliment her on something she owns and ask an open-ended question about it. If she's reading a book, tell her the cover looks interesting and ask what she thinks of it so far. Ask where she got a sticker on her laptop or say that you like the color of her phone case. Avoid complimenting her body or using the words sexy, gorgeous, or beautiful, these can all come off as too serious at first glance and therefore creepy. If you must compliment her looks, choose a larger detail that can be seen immediately. Maybe you like her glasses or think her hair looks nice that way. Tell her so. Sometimes it helps to lead with an acknowledgement that talking to strangers to women in public can be hard. Maybe something like I don't mean to bother you or I hope this isn't awkward. 6. Pay attention to her reaction. If she leans away from you or gives a one-word answer to your compliment or question without making eye contact, she is uninterested. This is not a reflection on you as a person. This is a reflection of the fact that she does not wish to carry on a conversation at this particular moment. Respect that and leave her alone. Smile, wish her a nice day, and walk away. Do not continue to look at her. Do not go back to talk to her. Do not send her a drink. Do not pursue her in any way, shape, or form. If, on the other hand, she makes a second or two of eye contact, smiles a genuine smile, puts down her book or her phone or closes her laptop, or gives a long answer to her question, she is interested in continuing the conversation. Ask her if it is alright to sit down. May I sit here? Or do you mind if I join you? Are two great ways to ask. She may then say no thank you. If this is the case, follow step 4 above. If she says yes, or in other ways indicates that you can sit, do so obviously and continue the conversation. Keep it light, books, movies, local events, non-political, unless she is reading current events or political books, the weather, that kind of thing. Once you are engaged in conversation with her, you can exit gracefully after 10 or so minutes or continue to talk to her. A good way to exit is to mention a prior engagement. Perhaps you're going to a friend's house or you need to work or get home to walk your dog. 
Offer your phone number or business card and tell her that you enjoyed your conversation with her. Make it clear that you would love to hear from her again. If you choose not to exit, when you finish your drink or coffee or cookie or whatever, tell her that you are going to go get another. Would she like one? Avoid asking outright if you can buy her a drink. To some women, this implies a contract of sorts, and it may be construed that you intend to use this to make her think she owes you something not that you'd ever do that because you're a decent human being. 7. Don't talk forever. In most cases, you'd meet a great girl at a meeting or a conference, or at other times in a cafe or a club. Unless both of you are specifically meeting up for a date, don't try to hover around the girl for the entire evening. Remember, she has her own obligations and commitments. If you're just going to talk on and on, there's a good chance she'll be annoyed with you and would just want to shut you up. One of the best ways to avoid this is to ask her if she has to go somewhere and flatter her at the same time. Saying something like I'd really love to stay here and talk with you for a while. Would that be alright with you? Try it, you'll see the difference. Even if she has to go somewhere else, this line will definitely lead to more phone conversations and sweet dates. Now that you know what to talk about with a girl and how to continue a great conversation with her, remember these tips when you come across a beauty that catches your eye. After all, great conversations aren't just about words. 8. Choose wisely. Remember, not all women are desirable just because they are women or because they are pretty. A pretty snake can still kill you and a woman who is negative, antagonistic, or passive-aggressive, also referred to as covertly hostile will make your life, and the life of any children you may have, miserable. Think ahead before getting serious. If you find that your future girlfriend is one of these types, give her a hearty so long, farewell, don't let the screen door hit you in the ass on the way out. A warm and loving woman with a twinkle in her eye and a sense of humor is far more desirable than a pretty psycho. Beauty can fade over time when it is only on the surface. The real beauty that you see when you see the perfect person underneath is forever. Life is a tough game and only someone who has integrity, compassion, and commitment will be there for you when you really need her. The others, if they are self-centered or psycho will be long gone the minute you need a friend the most. 9. Build attraction by being non-reactive instead of trying to please. When you learn how to talk to girls, you may notice how they start complaining to you, teasing you, or nagging you. Maybe they dislike your outfit, they question your life choices, or they complain about your haircut. Most often, this is a subconscious behavior that happens because she's interested in you. If you react and try to please her, it will often be a turn-off for her. If you're instead non-reactive, it shows that you are confident in who you are. Example, a girl complains about your haircut. In this case, the most attractive thing you can do is to show her that you are confident with your haircut and that her opinion doesn't affect you negatively. A non-reactive response could be to not even notice what she said, or it could be to play along with it as a joke because you found it funny. The important part is that you don't try to please her. 10. Recognize when she is not interested and move on. Let's face it, even though you are wonderful, dazzling, and brilliant, you may not be someone's cup of cherries or bowl of tea as far as future boyfriend material is concerned. It happens. If it is clear that she does not want a relationship, then okay. You are not wrong and neither is she. Perhaps you can be friends. One can never have too many nice people in one's life. There you have it. The important information on how to talk to anyone. Now go forth young warrior and use your power for good.